GMGM, welcome to the weekly crypto recap video. These are the most important Web3, crypto, and NFT news stories of the week that you need to know about. With story number one, let's do a Web3 deep dive rapid fire. Microsoft dives further into the metaverse. They partner with Meta, bringing Office 365 and Microsoft Teams to the metaverse and specifically the Meta Quest. They're bringing teams and giving it that immersive meeting experience in order to give people new ways to connect with each other. Steppin, the popular decentralized application where you get money for basically walking, they take a step back. According to Dune Analytics data, their app's daily active users was at an all-time high of 105,000 during the peak of the NFT bull run. That was in the summer in June. And now it's crashed down to about 6,000 daily active users as of September. Unfortunately, they're laying off 100 workers. And Uniswap, they raise $165 million. They said that their funding is going to go towards expanding its existing product offering and improve the user experience through new web applications, developer tools, and a shift towards mobile. The company is also planning on launching NFT projects in the future. I think 2023 is going to be the year that NFT goes mobile, and this is a hint at that in their strategy and plans. It's also interesting to see that they're focusing on NFTs as DeFi's cooled down, but NFTs are still the hot topic of Web3. With story number two, Google's partnering with Coinbase. Let's talk about why they're making this strategic decision. So Google said that they'll be tapping Coinbase, which is the second largest crypto exchange by volume, to accept crypto payments via Coinbase's custody service called Coinbase Prime. Now, the partnership is going to begin next year, and it will give users the option to pay for Google Cloud services via select cryptocurrencies like ETH, Bitcoin, and Doge. So this is important because now Web3 startups, Web3 projects can not only use Google Cloud as a cloud provider, but they can also pay via crypto. And that just, I think, builds this crypto native ecosystem. More importantly than that, though, Google will now allow Web3 developers to access Google Cloud's blockchain data through their service called BigQuery. And what this means is that Web3 startups and projects and developers will be able to instantly and reliably operate Web3-based systems without the need for expensive and complex infrastructure. So cloud services, they help Web2 companies expand and scale. And now we're seeing Google's cloud services enable Web3 and blockchain developers access this data in an efficient and super scalable way, which is just good for the ecosystem. With story number three, let's talk about Alchemy's Web3 Q3 developer report. Despite the crypto winter we're in with Bitcoin and Ethereum 70% off their November 2021 highs, Web3 developers are more active than ever. Let's talk about two of the most important Web3 developer libraries, and those are Ether.js and Web3.js. So in 2018, 148,000 developers installed either of these libraries on a weekly basis, but that number has been steadily increasing all the way throughout 2022 and has increased 10x. It's now at 1.5 million downloads per week. And compared to Q3 in 2021, that number of downloads has increased 3x by the quarter. That number is just staggering. And what it really tells us is that an increase in smart contract deployments indicate healthy developer activity and growth. We're gonna see more Web3 dApps, more startups, and more applications that's eventually gonna bring crypto and Web3 to the masses. One more fun fact for you from this developer report is that 36% of all smart contracts ever deployed and verified have been in 2022. So we're just seeing explosive growth right now across the, the Web3 and NFT space. And I think what this really indicates is all this is still new, but it's growing and it's growing fast. All right, let's talk Unstoppable Domains news. I'm always looking for the best tool to manage my portfolio and NFTs. And this week, Unstoppable Domains announced an integration with Zerion. This integration makes it super easy to go to Zerion, type in your NFT domain, and pull up your entire NFT and crypto token portfolio, be able to see if you're up, if you're down, and better manage your assets. As always, every single week, we drop another episode of the Unstoppable Podcast. This week, with episode 155, I interviewed Elizabeth Lakari, and she breaks down her best tips for a good Web3 user experience. She has experience building at Facebook, Google, YouTube, and just drops tons of insight. So watch the YouTube video here. It's on the YouTube channel. Hope you enjoy it. 
With Community Member of the Week, I want to give a big shout out to Alexian.nft. They told me they're trying to learn Solidity and everything Web3. They're a fan of the podcast and even subscribe to my newsletter, 1000 True Friends, where I'm breaking down crypto tools and applications for the Web3 creator economy. Shout out to you, man. Love to see your NFT being sported on Twitter. For the NFT Project of the Week, going to give a big shout out to Glass Protocol. I just interviewed their co-founder on the Unstoppable podcast and that episode will be coming out in a few weeks, but we broke down why video NFTs are going to be the future of content. Super interesting project where you can drop video NFTs on the Solana network. Thriving community, love to see the progress and what they're building. And here's a sneak peek at something that's coming up. I'm going to be dropping one of the Unstoppable podcast episodes in video format on Glass Protocol soon. Stay tuned for more information on that. And that's it for this week's weekly crypto recap. I hope you found these stories insightful and it helped you stay on top of the crypto markets. They're moving fast. Always new updates to cover. Please, if you enjoyed this episode, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think either on YouTube in the comments or on Twitter. Hope to hear from you. With that, I'll catch you next Friday. See you in the metaverse.